Well, hello everyone. Welcome back, guys. Hope you all are doing well. This is Mohammad Badruddja, and today we are going to solve the last lab from cross-site scripting vulnerability module. Let's see. Reflected access is protected by CSP with CSP bypass, and this lab uses content security policy and contains a reflected cross-site scripting vulnerability. And to solve the lab, simply we just need to bypass the CSP and call the alert function. One thing to be noted here, uh, the lab is suggesting us to use Chrome browser for this lab. So it will be, uh, I think, more convenient than the Mozilla Firefox. Uh, sometimes uh, there are functions, uh, those uh, basically work well for the specific kind of browser. So let's see, I already accessed the lab here. So this is our lab. And now let's try to search CyberSec Radar, okay? So once I search it, you can see uh, it appears within the URL as uh, the parameter name is search and the value is cybersec radar. Second important thing I want to see or I want to inspect the components here. And what I want to do, I'm going to the network tab and just refresh this one more time. So now the search term is cybersec radar, but my purpose is to see this request. OK, so if you see the response header, you will find here content security policy. And these are the directives configured within the content security policy. So the default source is self. That means it is not going to take uh, anything from uh, out of the origin or out of the band uh, servers or domain. Fine. Uh, object source is none. A script source is self. It will take a script or accept a script only from itself okay so a style source also self report uri and this is the new directive i am seeing here report uri okay report uri and it's specifying one endpoint which is csp hyphen report and it's defining here one parameter within this uri named as token and there is no value of this token so uh, what I'm going to do here is just trying to uh, see what happened if I uh, specify this parameter token here in the URL. So let's say test. OK. And hit enter. So once we hit enter, we again go to the same uh, request and we see the content security policy. Now within the content security policy, the interesting part you can see uh, now, in this request response header within the CSP, you can see the token value is defined here is test whatever we passed in the URL uh, as parameter token. OK, that means token value we can control and this is going to be source for us. Fine. OK, so let's see. Um, we can manipulate this by let's say I'm terminating the token value and then I can define um, a script source is equal to uh, not sorry not equal to a space and within the single quotes I'm gonna say um, unsafe in line okay um, let's see we will see whether this portion after the value of the token test, this portion should be uh, rendered in within the content security policy header as a new directive. OK, so this is just a test. Uh, hit enter back to the request. This one. Ah, come on, this one. Sorry. And as you can see here, the token value is test. Now, semicolon is terminating this directive report uri and after this the new directive is defined which is a script source now the thing i am suspecting that this is not going to work although wherever you see unsafe in line that is dangerous if you define any directive as unsafe in line this is dangerous and not recommended but I don't think it is going to work. Why? Because a script source is already defined here as self. So it will take the first one maybe. OK, but we can check now. So within the search, 
I'm going to write a script alert and the alert message is going to be one and terminate a script. So let's hit enter and we will see if the pop up is generated or not. So as you can see, there is nothing. Um, although if we move to the elements and we click this portion within the h1 you can see it's already here but the script is not executed or alert is not popped up so what we are going to do here is uh, let's say um, csp directives so we need to choose any directive that can be uh, work for our script to generate the alert although script source is already defined as self so this is the content security policy and all the directives you can find here so okay so here you can see default source so it serves as a fallback for the other fetch directives okay um, we have here object source was there a script source is defined as self you can see it specifies valid sources for javascript and web assembly resources so because it is self it is not going out of band um, to load any script fine uh, there is another directive named as a script source element and this is what i think we need because if you see the uh, definition of it or the description it's saying uh, it specifies valid sources for javascript uh, script element the tag script tag fine so let's try this one this is we have a script source element so uh, within the after this test i'm going to paste here a script source element and we defined here unsafe in line that means it this is going to be the dangerous one and it may load this script element so just hit enter that's it and yeah alert is popped up and i think the lab is solved um, wait just uh, a moment uh, up to now we did not get the message that we solved the lab but i want to see the value of token test which is finished here and this is our directive unsafe in line so that seems perfect but i don't know maybe uh, because of the space so we will try to put here a space and we will check it let's hit enter one more time and this time also the alert is popped up but the lab is not solved uh, let's refresh the page or maybe we go to the home button and yeah now the lab is solved fine so that's it for this lab okay so i'm going to see you in the next module bye